Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to Clanad, Katomi's Root, where the recital ended splendidly and everybody has gone their separate ways, and Katomi has reminded Kato uh, Katomi has reminded Tomoya, by the way, it's Friday, we finally get to have lunch again, yay! And of course, it's fourth period, and uh, why is my stop timer? Okay, I don't know why my okay the timer's going fine. I don't know why I swapped over to stopwatch. Whatever, it's fourth period. The plan was to show up at the start and then quickly slip out, but they're especially alert at times like these. I couldn't make my escape, and now there's only 15 minutes be left before lunch. But God hasn't forsaken me. Tomoya, I got my eye on you. I got a security camera right here. It's gonna keep an eye on whoever tries to leave the room. After saying that, the teacher leaves the room. Yes! I get up at once. Okazaki! I've got bigger things to worry about. Huh? While Sunahara looks at me questioningly, Lee, questioning Lee, I leave the classroom. I'd better hurry. I turn a corner in the hallway and run full speed ahead. Katomi must be waiting for me at the library. I have to take her out to buy bread or we won't have time to eat. Tomoya-kun, konnichiwa. Hey, Katomi, I'm in a hurry, so let's talk later, okay? Sonna ni isoi de doko iku no? The library. Katomi is waiting for me. Bye. So nanda. Sore ja mata kondo. <laughs> Took you long enough. 85 points. The pause before your retort was one second too long. <laughs> anyway, I thought you were at the library. Hmm. Tomoya kun osoi kara. Oh. I think she's making good progress at being more outgoing. But knowing her, she might have just come into class and shouted, Tomoya kun, I'm here. Hmm? Alright, let's go. Hmm. The two of us walk to the student store. Her name isn't Bread Lady Katomi, her name is Grandma. Get it right. うん。とても元気なの。今日もちょっと早すぎるみたいだね。サボり会。そうなの。サボりなの。<laughs> she tosses some bread in a bag. Katomi fumbles a little trying to catch it. Hello, bread lady. Tell you the truth, I'm playing hooky too. Sabori wa yoku nai ne. Chanto benkyo shinakya. <laughs> oh. oh, special treatment, huh? Seems like she gives preferential treatment to the smart kids. She says that teasingly while tossing a curry bun at me. Thank you so very much. Wait. Doesn't that sound weird? 
真心が大切なの I'm surprised you can get such good grades thinking like that. Hmm? <laughs> Just like, no? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget about it. Itadakimashou. Let's eat. We put our palms together and I recite her words. It's been a week since we last ate together. I find myself relaxing as if returning to a familiar place. I munch on the bread and watch Katomi. She's curiously taking apart the cutlet sandwich that she brought. That she bought. I Don't use a knife until your hand is better.、Mm. She meekly nods as she analyzes the sandwiches' structure. Don't take the batter off the cutlet. You can't undo it.、Mm? Too late. Russell, Russell. Crumble. She tries to put the batter back on, but it's not happening. See? I told you.、Mm. Stretch. She takes the cutlet and tears it down the middle. She takes one of the bread slices, half of the cabbage, and half of the crumbled batter and gives it to me. It's just a bunch of jumbled parts now. <laughs> This isn't like some plastic model. Slightly taken aback, I begrudgingly accept. She says it one more time and smiles. She grabs the onpon and splits it in half down the middle. I also rip my curry bun in half and swap it with her on pawn. Next to the desk by the window is the violin case. The lid is open, exposing the bronze colored violin to this noonday sun. I was about to say no on day sun. I'm like, what kind of word is no on day? <laughs> it stares at us as if, it's in another, as if it's another member joining us at the table. Thanks. We place our palms together and bow once more. I wipe the table and pick up the trash. At the same time, Katomi puts on her socks and campus shoes. You know, I have to give Tomoe a prop here.、Uh, he actually cleans up after himself. And believe me, I have known like probably really lazy people who just leave trash. Even though there's trash cans right there. Seriously, you cannot pick up your own garbage and put it in the trash can when it's right there. Right there. Oh, it's not my responsibility to clean up my own garbage. I can make all the garbage I want. So, thank you, Tomoya, for being a responsible member of society and cleaning up the trash that you have produced. Let's go. Katomi nods slightly. She did. She. She daintily picks up the violin case in its. She picks up the violin case that's in its own case. We put the violin in a case and then we put the case in another case. She daintily picks up the violin resting in its case. Katomi remains silent as we walk down the hallway. Glancing at her as she walks by my side, she looks eerily mature. It's a strange feeling. 
the students who loudly pass us are excitedly talking to one another. Some of them turn to look back at us. I don't mind their gazes and walk closer to Katomi. We're now at the second year classroom that we were told about, which strangely has the same cast of suspicious characters as my own classroom. A bright and cheerful crowd is making Katomi nervous. She gathers her courage and peeks her head through the door. Uh. They notice her right away and come running. It was very, very. It's like she's about to open the floodgates of emotion, but suddenly stops. She says that as if raining her emotions back inside. To Katomi, everything that happened these past few days was a lot of fun. She practiced with her friends and played her heart out in front of an audience. The Coral Club girl reads Katomi's complex emotions on her face. Katomi shakes her head. She hands over the violin case with the same respect as when she received it. でも she bows deeply. She smiles at Katomi, and she accepts the violin case. Katomi looks like she's about to cry. While wondering which of the two is really the older one, I softly place my hand on Katomi's shoulder. Let's go. I turn her away and say, Thanks a lot for everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I prod Katomi a bit and she turns to the girl obediently. Konnichiwa. はじめまして。3年英組の一ノ瀬琴美です。趣味は読書です。もしよかったらお友達になってくれると嬉しいです。She bows again. The nice to meet you part is strange, but you know what she means. I explained to the slightly confused girl. She gives a soft smile. Aren't you glad you have more friends now? Katomi tries to smile. Are? She can't hold her tears in any longer. And with this, I shall end the video here. So thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.